Hey guys, Hector Castillo here, Poppy from GirlsChase.com. Today I want to talk about how to take your girl's virginity without leading her on. This is a strategic video, but also a moral one. We want to leave women better than we found them. This is one of the mantras of Girls Chase, and I can tell you that not only is it the best strategic move to have girls know that you actually care about them and that you want the best for them, and that's gonna lead to you having a great reputation with girls, and so if some girl you fucked tells the other girl, hey, this guy not only drops good dick, but he's a good guy, that's gonna make you more popular with the girls rather than the typical, I'm an alpha male fuck boy and I'm just gonna go fuck with these girls. That's attractive. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but this is definitely better. But then also we need to have the moral side where we want to leave girls better than we found them. Not for the sake of strategy, but for the sake of simply being kind, for the sake of being kind. And when you go through life with this mentality, you're gonna end up actually executing better too. So I keep leading. The moral and the strategic kind of work together. And so, especially with a girl's virginity, you're going to need to have her feel, think, and know that you actually care about her because for the vast majority of girls, I'm sure there's a girl out there who's just like, all right, I need to lose my virginity and picks the first guy who can do it. Uh, but for the most part, girls want to lose it to someone who cares about them at least a little bit, um, doesn't necessarily have to become the love of their life and a boyfriend or a husband or anything of that serious nature, but she does want him to care at least a little bit. And as someone who's taken quite a few virginities um, and for the most part done it well, but a few times didn't handle it as great as I could have and I sort of regret it because I don't want her to always remember it. It wasn't necessarily bad, I just didn't care for her as much as I probably should have. And so let's go through how to get it and then how to leave her making sure that you don't pretend to be something that you're not. So how to get it. Firstly, for most girls, it's gonna be serious, so you do need to show a little bit of affection beyond just wanting to fuck her. Still, you should try to fuck her, right? So don't over-romanticize it. Don't just be like, okay, I'll wait, you know, and you know, spend as long as you need to be comfortable. No, be a man. Be like, look, I wanna fuck you, right? But at the same time, you're gonna to have to care about her. Now, you're gonna be able to express this in different ways. Um, usually, we talk about moving fast in girl shaves, and we want you to move as quickly as possible. First date, fuck her. You know, 10 minutes into meeting her, fuck her if you can. As fast as possible, right? With virgins, it's a bit of an exception. You can take your time because you're the first guy who's ever going to fuck her. You're always gonna have that in, you know, in, she's, you're always gonna be in her mind. You're always gonna be her first. So I'm not saying wait a year, but if it takes a couple months of on and off seeing each other, uh, if it takes three dates, four dates, five dates, six dates, that's not out of the realm of possibility and it's okay. Um, is it also possible to move quickly? Yeah, sure. I've taken girls' virginities on the second date. Have I ever first date taken a girl's virginity? Yes. Once. Okay. So, um, she knew that I cared about her, but she was kind of just ready to lose it. But she really liked me afterwards for obvious reasons. One, I dropped really good dick. And two, I was her first. And I think I handled it pretty well. Um, so I showed the care for her to basically let me fuck her and not think that she's, cause she's gonna judge her, the rest of her relationships based on the relationships before, always, her sexual relationships. And so if her first time is really good, she's going to have a better view of men in general. So leading up to the date, you might need to be persistent and you might need to be romantic, but you don't want to be leading her on. So now we know how to do it be romantic, put a little bit of effort, more persistence, and then obviously still be sexual. That's how you do it. It's very simple, actually. It's like any other girl, just the rule of you can move slower or you you should move fast is bent a little bit. You don't need to worry so much about, I gotta fuck her now, because you, you can afford to wait. Now, what do you do to make sure that she doesn't get led on? Don't promise, this is just the easiest way to go about it. Don't promise anything you can't deliver. Don't promise to be her boyfriend if you're not gonna be her boyfriend. Don't promise to be the love of her life if you're not gonna be the love of her life. At the same time, we don't advise that guys straight up say, yeah, I'm gonna be your boyfriend. Uh, with one girl who I took her virginity, uh, I said something along the lines of, I'll probably date you and I'll probably make you my girlfriend, but I didn't want to 100% promise her because 
there's a limit to the generosity. You want to be honest, but then you don't want to be so committing that you're losing your masculinity and, and trading sex for a relationship. I'd say if there's any time to do it, it would be virginity, um, but I would advise against it because it's, it's just not as dominant and as masculine as you want to be. But you can say, look, I will spend time with you afterwards. I'm not going to just run away and like, oh, I got your virginity, see ya. Okay, bye. <laughs> That's really shitty. Please don't do that. Uh, and karma will bite you in the ass. As far as you run, it will find you. And so you want to promise something that you can deliver. And don't overpromise something that even though you think you're gonna deliver, Let's say um, you think you're gonna be her boyfriend, you take a virginity, and then the next day you meet someone that you're really in love with. And then you're like sitting there like, oh, I promised this girl something I can't deliver, okay? Promise something that's realistic. So tell her something along the lines of, and this goes in with the strategic thing of showing that you care, right? So this could be manipulated and if you misuse it, fuck you. Um, but the moral and the strategic go hand in hand, usually in a lot of ways with proper uh, romantic, but sexual seduction. So tell her that, look, I'm not just gonna run away with your virginity and laugh and put in a plus one on my scorecard. Um, I'll hang out with you. You know, we can have dinner afterwards. We can get coffee in the morning, breakfast in the morning. It'd be a little bit romantic. You could afford to get away with that. Um, and that's gonna make her feel much more comfortable giving her virginity to you. So there's moral value and there's strategic value to it. And that way, if, you do go on to date her and actually be, take her as your girlfriend or even your wife, then you didn't play games with her, but at the same time you didn't give everything of yourself because then you would be losing your masculine strength by sitting there and saying, okay, I just want to take your virginity. You can have anything. You can, I'll be your boyfriend. I'll, don't do that. There's extremes and we want to avoid both of them. So promise her what you can deliver. Don't overpromise. Never promise anything you can't deliver. Do it with love, do it with romance, but still, never forget this, still be sexual. You're still trying to fuck her. As romantic and ideal as we want to make virginity, and it is for her, you're still a man who has a dick and you want to put it in her pussy, whether it's going to get busted open and bleed a fucking <laughs> ocean out of it, <laughs> or it's going to just be another time for her. It's still just sex to you, but for her, it's special. So make it special for her. Okay, Hector Castillo, girlshace.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow me on social media. Remember that we have a seven day free course where we teach you how to actually meet girls. Maybe you can't take a girl's virginity because you haven't met a hot virgin that you want to fuck. So it teaches you how to meet girls, how to recognize their signs of attraction, and then how to have real confidence with women that works. Okay, subscribe, ring the bell. I almost fucking forgot. <laughs> and also like the video, please, because it's awesome. All right, cool, see you soon. Go take your girl's virginity and make sure she has a great time and you have a great time and please wipe that blood off your dick. Okay, bye. <laughs>